Hi, homeschool moms. This is Future Faith Freedom Homeschool, and I'm Lillian. And um, you can visit my blog at futurefaithfreedomhomeschool.blogspot.com. And I am joining in on the Homeschool Moms Connect that is hosted by the wonderful Tiff Uzar, T-I-F-F-U-Z-O-R. So check her out. She has an awesome channel. And she just wants to get some information from us. Um, not from us, but maybe we can have this dialogue. And that's what she wants, like a place for us to communicate about this and maybe ask some questions and, and all that. So first, time management. How do I get in cooking, cleaning, schooling, and extras? So I really want to, um, there's just not enough time in the day, not enough hours. No matter how I work things, it's nothing, not everything's going to get done. And there's a certain point in the day that I just want to be done. So that's the reason why I homeschool because I, I, I don't want that, you know, feeling of everything has to be done at one time. But homeschooling, I do. I really, but with schooling, if we don't get it done all at the time I have it, my husband, you know, his hours are um, night hours for now. So when he goes off to work, then we can finish up the stuff that we had, didn't finish in the early morning, which I think the kids like it in the evening like that because the little one is settled down you know he kind of leaves everybody alone <coughs> and they can concentrate more on the task at hand cleaning there's never never time for cleaning I mean I do clean I have my um, homemaking schedule here got my monthly chart here and my daily you know daily Monday Tuesday and then monthly quarterly and yearly um, which you know, it, this helps me out, so I can stay on task, and I know this is the day that's assigned for this, then I can do it, you know, but like everything, like um, doing dishes and tidying up the living room and make, picking up toys, that's like an everyday thing, and that's where chores come in for the kids to do, because if that is done, I can stay on task myself, so um, cooking, I like to do cooking in the summer, 12, by 12 o'clock, but when I'm doing lunch, I want to do dinner, so that way it's done, and I'm not worried, if, you know, or sometimes I'll do it at night, really late when they're sleeping, I'll do dinner for the next day, because it just makes sense to have <coughs> um, the oven, you know, not on during the day, so it depends, summer, winter time, yeah, I do my cooking in the evening, because it helps with <coughs> heating the house, I'm sorry, you guys, Okay, so have stress management. I can totally relate to um, Tiff about not wanting to be that mom on the edge of um, exploding. <laughs> not in a bad way, but, you know, kids, they're going to see you as the monster anyway. So, But um, I just kind of, like, if I really had enough, I just say, you know, put on a movie, go play some you know, I don't like them to play video games, but if it's been one of those days, I'd say, okay, go ahead, get your, <clears throat> you know, little handhelds or whatever, and go do that while I calm down and have some time to myself. Because sometimes that's just what it needs, what we all need. And a happy mom is a happy house. So, um, with the schooling, I like to tend to get things done in the morning, you know. But if we don't get things done, we do in the evening, just in case I haven't done that. Um, how do I get my children to follow the plan? Oh, since I'm very new at this, it's kind of been a struggle because they know it's summer and I know it's summer. My body knows it's summer. We like to sleep in late. Do things, sleep in late, sleep late. So right now it's still kind of, um, when, you know, this is just our learning year. I'll, I'll tell you that. But my oldest one... He'll know what to do. Sometimes he does have those days of, why do we have to do this or whatever. But I remind them that, you know, homeschool is to relax. We do it in four days. Friday is a planned day, um, a field trip day. So it's only four days of school. Would he rather like that? Or, you know, does he want to go back to public school? And I, I, I give him that choice. Um, I'm not going to be doing that next year. <laughs> Hopefully they'll like it. But... Uh, I, I want them to love it. 
my second son, he is very, um, why this, why that, why do I have to? So I pull out my, he's been good, rewards jar. Okay, so this is for when we are done with school and our chores. I pop this open. I got this from Pinterest, the idea. Gotta love Pinterest. And pick out like a card, also from Pinterest. And this one is just like, you know, one movie. And let me see. A you, cho a you choose one. Just little tickets that I found. Friend over. So they can either pick one or two. No switching and no whatever. So, and then I keep it out of the jar so that way it can go around. Um, you know, they can get to all of them. Um, so I started that and it seems to kind of work for now. We'll see. Um, all right. Teaching writing, what resources have I found to teach writing? I do, I'm very, I don't know how it happened, but I think my oldest one just hates writing. He just doesn't, great with ideas, just can't get that there onto paper. So what I'm going to do is basically start at grade level one, basically. So, but I do have spelling power. Well, we're, we're going to do that. But I do have Sylvan third grade super um, reading success and writing success. I think that's what it is. And I think if we just start at least from the same year, figure out what happened and what he missed, like what. I mean, AB honor roll. He did all year long. He kept his grades up. He did all his work. But, you know, like I found out that that's what they want. It's like, but where where did he get lost? Yes, he's good on paper, but why am I getting grades, some grades where it comes to critical thinking that he's just not there and he's still passing or nothing is coming up as red flag? Where? Okay, that's another video for the other lady who did a raw video of, of why she homeschooled. My three and me or something like that. Uh, I'll have to do one for her. But okay. So I don't know. So if you guys have a good one to do, please let me know. I would really love, love, love. So we're just doing like writing letters. Uh, I started pen pal for him through with my son's, my friend's son. And I, he already did his first letter and he loved it. If I start off slow again like that and do some um, writing, um, oh God, I'm having a brain fart. Writing exercises, I think he'll see that, you know, just consistency, I think. Um, so, okay, and then scholastic success with the first grade for my other son because he too is like, just dreads writing. I don't know if it's a boy thing or what. Um, uh, yeah, must be my boy thing. <laughs> okay, so comparison trap. Um, I think I was very fortunate when I was younger that I decided to not involve myself with comparison and all that because it leads up to jealousy. I, I used to have very bad migraines and I was very fortunate that I had that aha moment at that young of an age. So now I don't, um, if I feel like there's that conversation of, um, I have this, what do you have, you know? going, starting to go on, or if somebody else is, like, kind of, how should I put this, start saying, I don't like to sound mean, but it's, sometimes you have people, I don't know if it's their personality, but they seem to sound like they're showing off, or they're, or they're, they're just, like, and it's not, like, I can say, I got like a car, a brand new car, blah, blah, blah. But it's like how you come off when you say it. That's what gets me. And that's like, so I kind of tend to take myself away from that. Um, but yeah, so I stopped the comparison thing because that turns to jealousy and that, that's never good for anyone. So happy mom is a happy household. And I just stay away from that and those kind of people. Um, if I have to, I'll tolerate it. Um, out of respect because I've been taught to respect people and yeah I would like the same respect too so if you want to have that kind of thing with me be good friends and say 
how fortunate you are to have a car <laughs> or to have those kind of materials or curriculum that I can't afford. Oh my gosh, be happy, you know? Um, so that's what I say about that. But I will have to do a video too. Bye.